The Han Empire was the longest-lasting imperial dynasty to rule over a unified China. Han Dynasty rule was briefly interrupted by the Red Eyebrow Rebellion, before being re-established by a different branch of the same family. The periods before and after this rebellion are most commonly called the former and later, or Eastern and Western Han, referring to the two different locations of the imperial capital city during each of these periods. Intrinsically associated with China's identity, the Han Dynasty was founded by Liu Bang. Born into an impoverished family of peasant farmers, Liu Bang had many careers during his extremely eventful life, including but not limited to local sheriff, fugitive. Bandit, rebel, common soldiers, general, king, and finally, emperor of the earth's most populous state. The first major turning point in his life occurred while he was a local sheriff, tasked with transporting a group of convicts. Which were used for forced labor. After one escaped, he set the rest of the prisoners free, because he knew the penalty for failure in his duty was death. Grateful for their newly acquired liberty, many of the former prisoners pledged their loyalty to Liu Bang. They formed a small group of marauding bandits, which likely spent much of his time avoiding capture by Qin imperial troops. Liu Bang may have spent the rest of his life as a common bandit, had it not been for the civil war that plunged the country into chaos. The civil war was set in motion by the unexpected death of China's first emperor Qin Shi Huang, who may have died from drinking one too many toxic mortality potions. He was succeeded by his young son Er Shi, who was decadent, weak-willed. And refused to listen to any bad news. Consequently, this allowed the emperor's boyhood tutor Zhao Gao, who was promoted to imperial chancellor, to seize power. Zhao Gao raised taxes across the empire to fund an extravagant court, and went on an. Unrestricted spree of executing real and imagined rebels, purging the court of his most competent ministers, princes, military officers, and their families. All of this led to widespread revolts of the provincial nobility and peasant uprisings. Liu Bang's bandits joined the most formidable of the rebel armies, commanded by Xiang Yu, a nobleman from the resurgent state of Chu. There, he quickly rose through the ranks, becoming Xiang Yu's most effective general. Liu Bang had got very charismatic personality that Xiang Yu grew to like Liu Bang so much, they became sworn brothers. Xiang Yu decisively defeated the Qin army at the Battle of Julu, while Liu Bang took the capital city and accepted the last Qin emperor's surrender. 
Xiang Yi granted him the title King of Han. While Liu Bang had been merciful to surrendering Qin troops and the young emperor, Xiang Yi was not. He ordered many thousands of Qin soldiers to be buried alive as punishment for their disloyalty. He later sacked the capital city and slaughtered the Qin royal family that had previously surrendered to Liu Bang. Xiang Yu attempted to re-establish eighteen of the kingdoms that had existed before the Qin unification, with himself at the head. First, by controlling a puppet emperor from his own state, who he had assassinated, and then by granting himself the title Ba Wang, meaning overlord. Or hegemon king. Despite his efforts, this loose confederation was at war with itself, even before it had formed. Many feared being perched by the merciless Xiang Yu, while many more believed the land should remain united. Viewing Xiang's regime as a return to the centuries-long. Feudal chaos of the Warring States period. Those disaffected found a champion in Liu Bang, who had gained a reputation for being merciful to the defeated and a generous patron to his followers. Being merciful to others is not the only strength that Liu Bang has got. Despite Liu Bang's low birth, he is generous and humble, and especially good at social. His godly charms worked its magic on the many talented people and kept them loyal to him and his cause. The two leaders had a falling out, and after four more years of conflict, Liu Bang was victorious. Uniting the Middle Kingdom by 202 BC, declaring himself the Emperor Gao Di of the Han Dynasty.